morning. Yes, we still have that severe thunderstorm warning till about 545. Things are starting to move out of our viewing area, though. You can see where uh, the orange polygons are here, though, for parts of um, our counties that are in this severe thunderstorm warning. So Kalamazoo, uh, Calhoun, Barrie, and everything continues to move south and east. But of course, behind this, really quiet. We're going to remain quiet for the second half of the day, but let's focus in here as this has been quite a lightning show this morning. Again, really all of this working now towards out of our viewing area. Three Rivers, Sturgis, you folks are up next to get quite a lightning show. Heavy downpours in this and you can get some stronger winds. Allegan County, uh, Ostego, that's where we're finding a lot of reports of down power lines and down trees. So uh, this is impacting, I think, Allegan County the most for what we have seen for this coming through. But lightning strikes currently only 388. This is actually quieting down the last hour or so, but really things starting to push outside of our state line. I want to time it out for you. Rough estimate here is it moving this about 35 miles per hour forward. We've seen a lot of our wind gusts this morning uh, between the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. We've had a few reports of 60 mile per hour winds. Cold water reaching about 545 and then it continues to push out of our viewing area. Again, everything moving south and somewhat east. Some of you at home may be thinking, hey, wait a second, this was supposed to be bigger than that. This missed us. The more aggressively stronger storms were off to our west throughout the overnight hours. Most of the Milwaukee area really got hit with that 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gust. Brief spin ups possible. They've had lightning catch things on fire. So this is everything that we missed, which we're thankful for. We have now just gotten this severe thunderstorm warning within the last uh, hour or so. Started about 4 a.m., continuing till 545. And now everything really moving on out. This system will continue pushing south and east behind this substance and a really calmer day. So much of your daylight hours will be dry. I think many of you even north of I-96 will stay dry uh, for the entire time frame. And temperatures this morning is just soupy. We feel very tropical out there with temperatures in the 70s and our dew points in the upper 60s and lower to mid 70s as well. So you will notice it first thing when you walk out the door, just how soupy that air mass is. And here's a look at these winds. You can see all of this really focused south of I-96 where we've seen and still have these showers and storms. 36 mile per hour in Holland, 35 in Battle Creek, 16 in Coldwater. Again, all these uh, storms moving south and east. But taking a look at your day, as a whole, 79 degrees at noon, 84 at 5. Once we get the brunt of these showers and storms on out of here, we'll really calm down. But we're going to remain with that humidity and warmth for today. Tomorrow brings cooler, more comfortable conditions. We'll take a look at it coming up in my full seven day.